hi thanks for watching my video i will be referring to um the child as susie the girl and the other child as bobby and mom and dad i will be um, referring to as mom and dad <laughs> all right here's my first segment hello welcome in thank you for coming you can have a seat anywhere you'd like um I just want to first say I really appreciate you all being here and taking the time to work out these really difficult situations that your family is going through. Um, during this first segment, I want to get to know you guys better. I want to ask you all questions and hear your thoughts and feelings about the issues going on in your family. Um, but first, I'd like to lay some ground rules. So I know I handed you all a sheet of paper with the ground rules on it, but I just want to go over a few of the main ones. Um, first of all, everything you say in here is confidential. So um, it, as long as it's not about hurting yourself or hurting other people, those I do have to report. But anything else you say in here is confidential, and I ask that um, all of you keep it confidential as well. Um, and then also... Um, please, no yelling at each other. Um, it's okay if we disagree. I just don't want any yelling. I want to keep this a safe space for everybody. Um, and then I just ask that you don't talk over each other. So I ask that you wait for whoever is speaking to finish speaking before you start, okay? Does that all sound like something we can agree on? Okay, great. Here is the second session. I just want to jump in here. Um, I notice a lot of emotion in your voices and I can hear that this has been a real um, disagreement between both of you for a while. Um, before we started, we agreed not to interrupt each other and I just want to point that out. Um, so please let the other one finish before you start talking. Um, I want to make sure I'm hearing correctly what you're saying. So I'm just going to summarize. Um, mom, you feel hurt because you don't think um, dad appreciates you. And dad, um, you think that mom, um, she talks about you um, to the children and complains about you. And um, when you do do chores around the house, um, in your words, she nags you and says that you don't do it correctly. Is that right? Okay, okay, good. Um, so I would just like to do this little exercise with you guys. Um, I want you both to only use I statements when you're speaking to each other about this situation, okay? I want you to, um, mom, you're gonna go first, and I want you to um, speak to dad and tell him how that makes you feel, okay? So how, why you feel like he doesn't appreciate you and how that makes you feel only using I statements. So I feel this, I think this, um, no, you do this, you do that, okay? And then dad, you're gonna do the same. You're gonna have your chance, so wait for mom, and then it's gonna be your turn. Um, you're going to explain how you feel using I statements, how it makes you feel when mom speaks about you to the children, um, and how it makes you feel when you don't do chores correctly in her eyes, okay? So we're gonna do that. Um, so mom, I'd like you to go first. Okay, and here is my third segment with the family. Okay, well, we covered a lot in this session. Thank you all for being so open and honest with your feelings um, and your thoughts about what's going on. Um, before we end, I'd just like to review some of the things that you guys are gonna be working on this week as you go home. Um, so mom and dad, we talked about you guys working on using I statements with each other. Um, when you're upset or frustrated or things come up, you're going to um, only use I statements to tell each other how you feel, okay? So no blaming, um, accusations, but make sure you're sharing how you feel with each other. And then you're not gonna be talking about that to the children at all, okay? So you're going to be um, keeping that to yourselves in between the two of you and um, and not sharing any marital problems that might arise or frustrations or concerns with the kids, okay? 
Um, Susie, we talked about you creating a safe plan for yourself for when you feel depressed. Okay, so we identified a safe person that you can reach out to and talk to about your feelings um, at any time. You can do that. And then you're also gonna be open with mom and dad about how you feel um, and what you need from them, okay? Um, you're also gonna have your individual session with me this week. Um, so we're gonna be meeting one-on-one -on -one and we talked about that, right? Okay, good. And then Bobby, um, we talked about getting you into an extracurricular activity and you identified chess club as something that you'd like to try to do. So mom and dad agreed to um, look into that for you. So we're going to get that started. Okay. All right. So during our next session, I really want to dive into more of your family history. Um, so if you have anything that you think is really important to share with me about your family, next time is going to be it. Okay. So we're going to talk about that um, at the next visit. So come with anything you want to share and then I'll be just diving in a little bit deeper into um, some of the family history that you guys have, okay? All right, well, thanks again for joining me. I really appreciated meeting you all and I will see you all next week.